Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick and here's your political news roundup for Wednesday, September 7th. Tonight brings the fourth debate among Republican presidential candidates. One difference this time, the inclusion of Texas Governor Rick Perry, not only as a newcomer, but as the leader in the polls. The debate takes place at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in California starting at 8 p.m. Eastern. This is the debate that led Republican House Speaker John Boehner to deny President Obama a chance to address the country and a joint session of Congress tonight. That speech has been pushed to Thursday evening. At that speech, look for President Obama to seek $300 billion to create jobs and stimulate the economy. The speech is expected to propose a combination of tax cuts and federal spending. The White House is hinting that the plan will involve extensions of the payroll tax cut and unemployment benefits, as well as tax breaks for businesses that hire the unemployed. The same day as the speech, the bipartisan Congressional Committee holds its first public hearings on cutting the budget and the deficit. Well, don't expect the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau to be fully functional anytime soon. That's because it won't have a leader anytime soon. President Obama's nominee to head the new agency, Richard Cordray, was told by Republicans he would likely not win confirmation in the Senate. Republicans say the director's position holds too much power over the banking community. They say they won't approve the appointment until that matter gets resolved. And oversees a new development in the trial of former Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak, a police official who testified that police did not use live ammunition against protesting civilians, was arrested and charged with perjury. It's the latest in a trial that has seen several prosecution witnesses recant earlier statements that they were under orders to use live ammunition in the revolt that brought down Mubarak's rule last winter. More than 800 Egyptians were killed during protest demonstrations. That's your political roundup for Wednesday, September 7th. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to RTTnews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.